to my channel and if you are new then welcome my name is Jillian I am a stay-at-home mom of two little ones ages three and four my kids names are Ryan and Madison and I am so thankful and grateful to be able to stay home with them and also be able to make these videos for you guys so Today's video is a very exciting video. I am doing another collaboration video and it is with the lovely Katherine Martinez. Now, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you would have heard her name before. I actually just recently did my last collab video with her. I did a morning routine and she did a nighttime routine. If you guys have not seen that video yet, I will make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out if you are interested. Catherine is also a mom. She is actually pregnant with her third little one on the way. She is also a stay at home mom and she has amazing video and content on her channel. I really do love her and I enjoy watching her videos and I am so happy and glad that she wanted to do a second collaboration with me. So thank you again, girl, so much for doing Doing another collaboration with me I really do appreciate it if you guys have not checked out her channel yet definitely go check her out I'm going to leave the link down to her channel and also to her DIY craft so you guys can check her out let her know that I sent you now today's video we decided to do a DIY I love DIYing and crafting and I haven't been DIYing as much as I would like to. So doing this DIY I was very excited for it because I had the supplies just sitting in my office for so long so I was very excited to make this video. Now my craft I am going to be making some wreaths. They are flower wreaths and they're actually a Dollar Tree craft. It is so simple and easy to make. Now I originally was going to be making two wreaths, one pink one and then one white rose one. Now in the middle of me doing my white rose wreath, I ended up running out of flowers for that wreath. I actually ran out back to Dollar Tree but they do not have any more of the white roses because now they're starting to bring in all of their fall colors. So there was no white roses so I decided to just buy some fall color wreaths so I did I guess technically two and a half wreaths. I did a fall wreath, a pink wreath more for like spring, and then I did another wreath which was the rose one and I was only able to get half of it done. I'm going to end up trying to go to maybe Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's and seeing if I can find a rose that is pretty close to the ones I already have and finishing it because the white rose wreath I really really did love. And let's just get right into the video of me making my DIY flower wreath. So what you're gonna need for this craft is some foam wreaths and then you're gonna need your choice of flowers and I'm going to try and do two wreaths for you guys. So this one as you can see I've already poked holes everywhere where I would like the flowers to be and then I also already removed the flowers from the little stems just so it can be easier and then for this one I did not poke the holes yet and I did not remove the flowers yet just because I want to show you exactly how I pull them out and just the process and I also want to see if it was easier for me to poke the holes beforehand or if it didn't really make a difference so that is my starting point and then the only other things you will need is a hot glue gun and then also some glue sticks. I'm going to be using this Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. Hey guys, so this DIY craft is so simple and easy. All you're going to need is a foam wreath, some flowers of your choice, and some hot glue. Now what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of the hot glue to the stem of the flowers, and then I'm placing it wherever I would like on the foam wreath. Now you don't have to press it down for too long. I literally held it down for maybe about three to four seconds each and that was long enough for it to secure down. Now I'm just going to finish and go around the entire wreath until I am done.
guys really enjoyed that simple and easy DIY flower wreath. I'm going to show you the end results of how they look because I really didn't show it to you in the previous video. So this is how the pink one turned out. It is actually two different types of pink rose, um, not roses, just flowers. So this one's more of a hot pink. And then I also did these flowers here, which is kind of like a baby pink. And that is how it turned out. Now these are mini wreaths. I don't think I mentioned that, but they are mini wreaths wreaths i thought they would be perfect for in my kitchen i have a door that goes into the pantry so i thought it would look cute in my kitchen behind the door so this is more like for spring i would probably do this for spring or summer and then this is the rose one that i did not get to complete because i ran out of flowers but it is halfway done i still need some more around here so i'm gonna go out and try to find some more white roses so i can complete that one and then I decided to do the fall one, and this is how my fall wreath turned out. I decided at the last minute to add some glitter little leaves and then also three little pumpkins. These were actually leftovers from a craft that I did last year for fall. So I decided just to you know, spruce it up a little and I added that. So that is how the fall one came out, which is perfect because fall is around the corner. So I will be hanging this up this year and definitely going to be saving it for my new house. So, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed my DIY crafts and maybe you guys will try it out. Again, it is so simple and easy and very affordable. I bought everything from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that I did not buy from the Dollar Tree was my hot glue gun, but I've had that for years. And you can actually buy hot glue sticks from the dollar store. So technically you can buy pretty much everything other than the actual gun. So if you guys do end up making this wreath, definitely comment down below and let me know so I can check it out and see how yours turned out. And thank you again so much to Catherine Martinez for doing this collaboration video with me. I really did enjoy this craft because I love DIYing and you got me motivated to want to do more crafts. So. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.